Hello everyone, once again this is Corinne from Choosing One Studios, and here we are outside of the Elder's House, back in Selray. Once again, remember how to gawk through a door normally. Now this door isn't locked, we can come up here whenever we want. So, time to figure out what magical ingredient we're still missing to get all this settled. And right through here, we'll get the answer. Ah, you got it, no problem. Well done. Well, you better go to LaFonce's grave. You're pretty casual. So just moving right along, we'll find it right outside of his back door. There's a great view of nothing. Like, that is an amazingly nothing view. Modern Falcom's gonna make that look so much better. What an impressive tomb. I was kinda thinking it was dinky. Lord LaFonce. I got your sword. You want to send it the screen? Okay, you've done that. Rainbow Light Show. I am LaFans, bearer of the Hero Sword. Thank you for believing in my words. For many years I have guarded the seal so that it was not broken. However, the waters of the lake are crimson and are becoming jet black. At last, the time is upon us. Somebody is leading the ancient civilization. It means the destruction of the world and the coming of an evil age. I had been looking for one to put a stop to this. Then I heard of your activities in East. I guided Lisa's bottle across the sea to you. Even if the ancients are sealed again, one day they will probably break loose. So if we break the seal ourselves, we can attack the heart of the evil. The seal is at a pedestal protected at the mountain path on the border. Right, I will blow my breath onto the sword. I live with the sword, and so must you. You are sure to gain protection from the five disciples also. Adel, go to the country border pass and run the sword through the gold pedestal. Only, there's a little bit of a problem with the gold pedestal. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. You're going to the gold pedestal? Yes. Hmm, understood. I entrust it all to you. Thank you for everything. Well, please go. So, <laughs> yeah, things are going to come to a head very soon. Cannot use? Oh, huh. didn't know this was like a dungeon. It's probably to prevent me from doing that. At least that was going to be my guess. But if that's true, then there'd be someone right there. It's probably just that that place is set is inside. Even though it really shouldn't be. Just to make sure, though, we're going to walk back down. Because that is just weird that I couldn't use it up there, but that I can here. It might have something to do with the tomb. I know, like, in-game reason, more thinking sloppy coding. But it doesn't look as though anyone's there to greet us, so that was just weird. Well, where do we want to go? Well, we want to go to the border ridge, remember? Had that summit, there's supposed to be a golden pedestal that... Incredible, you can see right across the set of forest from here. Only, you'll notice something. There's no pedestal. <sighs> Pause. Cue video. And, yeah. That's why. So... We're gonna have to go back to Minea. Good old Minea. Can always count on that place to be a port city. Unless it's a newer version that it's not a port city anymore. But you can still count on Pim to be screwing us. So let's go and find his shop. I think it's this one. No. That's right, it's down here. It's the same place, too. Ah, this is gonna be fun. Oh, it, that's Sarah. I see the day has come to pass which the people of East can live in past peace. We people of East are ready to you alone. Da da recent listening shadow, set of forest. Hmm. That really looks like how they portrayed Sarah in some of the earlier games, so she might still be alive in this version too. She survived in the anime. But she didn't survive in East 1 and 2 complete. But it wasn't really a remake, it was just a port, so. I'm going to hold any conjecture about that to one side for right now, because it doesn't really matter. They're going to be making a new version of this anyway, and along with that, a new version of 1 and 2 eventually, one would hope. If only because otherwise, none of this will ever make sense. Well, at least, all these various depictions. So it's not the bat shop, not the bar, well, let's get a drink for Adel's sick. I feel pretty silly. Regardless, we have to find Pim 
because he is the one who has our golden pedestal. If you'll recall from that clip, we sold it to him for 22,000, or 2,200 rather, and it was kind of a steal for him. I mean, technically we stole it, but it was just sitting in the ground. That's right, I was just in here. This video might be scrapped if I can't find it too terribly soon. I know I keep saying that with videos that don't get scrapped, but I swear, things do. It happens. That isn't why it's taken so long for this video to come out. I was just in there too. Maybe you are in here, Pim. <laughs> Let's see. Traveling merchant, would you buy something? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I love the secret medicine. It's precious. How about for 40,000 gold? No. Not nearly that money. You wouldn't have to be Pim, would you? Being healthy is the best way to be, certainly, but... Might as well please be quiet. Hmm. I feel really silly. Because I know that Pim has it. Or is it Promarock in this version? Hmm. If I can't find it soon, some of this is definitely getting cut. <laughs> ah, here we go. Hey, Adel, I found the gold altar at last. Pim, could you give me that? Ah, well, whatever you desire. Okay, I'll sell it for 3,000 gold. You got the gold pedestal. Which looks different. And that was $800 he just stole from us. Right, so now where do we go? Well, you probably guessed it, because I showed you already. But we're going to go back to the Border Ridges Summit. That's why we went there before, because it's very useful to just be able to teleport here. So this was the gold pedestal. I hit this with the sword? Bottle. Lord Lafons. Well, run the sword through with all your strength. Normally this would just mean running into. So he does. Repeatedly. Until it... Well... Even though the thing's on the top, so he should just be ramming the sword into the top, apparently this is what he needs to do. There is no music here, by the way. That sound, however, is unfortunately really in the game. And anyone who's ever seen the movie The Final Sacrifice, this might seem vaguely familiar to you. Mainly because of this. Looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? But yeah. Is that the ancient city? So that is the ancient city. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Things have moved around a little bit because of that. And I think we can even see it if we just go straight to... Cell Ray. Because normally we got here from, you know, going from Gazak's place. But that's not going to be what's over here anymore. Or, no, this is, this is the way to Komodo. Maybe it's the divine area that you get there from. Nope! Here it is! Good new music, too. Do -do 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 very catchy. And definitely very easy. So, as you might have guessed, we can't get to Kazak anymore. And this excellent music is definitely something that was worth, well, letting you guys all hear a bit. And that is just how badly the things here hurt. So you can see why I didn't really feel guilty about getting a level there on screen. Because these guys? 
don't have the whole weird hitbox problem. They definitely don't have any kind of hitbox problems, except that they like hit hitting me with their hitboxes. However, they also get pretty excellent experience. I mean, you know, we've all seen me get better experience in this game, but these are also enemies in the very first section. I don't know what this room is for, it's definitely not for anything useful, but it's there. <laughs> this game doesn't really have the whole thought that if something's there it should be useful, so that room's just a red herring. Of course, most of the paths inside of the Divine Area Castle were too, I would say, troubling, but really that more just matches up with everything else. So we're still going to explore, because we need to make sure that we leave every stone turned. Or don't leave any stones unturned. Whatever sounds better to you. Ow, projectiles. And there's not even anything there. Because that is how much this game loves us. It reaches out with warm, open arms and says, We love you, Waddle. You are the hero of legend. Or brave soul. Regardless, let's me do that. So this area does let you heal up there, which is nice. There's our floating eyeball enemy. Any floating eyeball jokes work perfectly, though I can't think of any right now, but that could definitely put an eye out. And I, Adel just did. It's all fun and games until somebody loses their eye. Except that, in this case, this is a... well, I wouldn't say fun, but it's a game! And Lord Lafon's just lost an eye. Wait, well, not Lord Lafon's, I mean Eldeal. Eldeen. No, Eldeal's the name, Eldeen's the race. This game got me so messed up about that for a while, though. But as you can see, this is the path to proceed. We're definitely nearing the end game here. A very, very satisfying one for, you know, this frustrating me all, and all that. It's a short song, but I think it repeats nicely. It's definitely made grinding this area less frustrating for me in the past. They mean you don't have to collide with me, so I can't kill you using your own attack. It's not fair, centaur. Though I guess I did kill that other centaur already, so... I don't really get to complain about fair. Oh well. This game isn't really about me being fair anyway, it's about me saving the world from evil. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. This area looks nasty, but it's safe just in case. Yeah, a little bit of graphical glitch here and there. Mainly one of those, this game wasn't meant to be translated things. And... I guess this area's just screwing with me, because this area really looks like it would be a boss fight in a more modern East game. But I guess there's no side paths, so that is ominous. In any game. Ah, there's the boss area. Which means we're exploring this first, because... There's a switch! Move it! And, as you might have guessed, the area is no longer flooded. It doesn't give us an er entrance to any other area, but it does give us a chance to heal before we fight the boss. So now I'm going to save. And we're gonna go in. we had to face? <laughs> well done. Gatus! Well, I wonder how I'll kill you. Splat! Just smashing you will do. Wham! Chopping you up with my axe is fun, too. <laughs> Where is Eldeal? I don't know. I'm just doing what Lord Gruder said. Lord Gruder said to kill you, so I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll cut you into little pieces. Get ready. And he transforms into his boss mode. And this is nasty. Not this particular attack. As you can see, the trick is to not be hit by Zax. Which is harder than it sounds. Pretty much, as soon as he starts moving, you already have to be moving away from him, or he's going to hit you. Staying on the move is helpful. Ah! But as you can see, it doesn't always work. At all.